This afternoon, Prime Minister, I'm meeting the families of the COVID-19 Bereaved Families for Justice group, a group of hundreds of families who've lost loved ones. They say this, and I quote, we won't let the deaths of our loved ones be in vain, and we won't allow the government to risk a second wave of deaths without learning from their mistakes. They will be listening to the Prime Minister's answers today. So what would the Prime Minister like to say to them? Prime Minister. M- Mr Speaker, I join with, I think, every member of the House in mourning the loss of everybody who has died in this, in this epidemic. And I can assure him and through him, uh, the victims and their families, uh, that we will do absolutely everything in our power to prevent a second spike in this uh, in this epidemic. And that's why we're taking the steps that we are. That's why we've set up, as I say, an unprecedented test and trace operation. That's why uh, we are investing massively in our NHS, in our frontline staff. And in, as I say, in the last year, recruiting 12,000 more nurses as part of a programme to recruit 50,000 more, preparing our NHS for winter. We will do absolutely everything we can to protect our country and uh, to stop a second spike. But what he has to decide is whether, whether he wants to back that programme or not. Because one day he says it's safe to go back uh, to school, the next day uh, he's, he's taking the line of the unions, one day, one day they're, they're supporting our economic programme, the next day they're saying our stamp duty cut is an unacceptable bung, one day they're saying they accept the result of the Brexit referendum, the next day, today, uh, they're going to tell their troops to do uh, the exact opposite. He needs to make up his mind uh, which brief he's going to take today. Day. Because at the moment, Mr. Speaker, looks like he's got more briefs than Calvin Klein. We're getting on. We're getting on. We're getting on with delivering on our agenda for the country, getting this country through this pandemic, and taking it forward. Yeah. Yeah. To double check, did he make his poor joke about underpants in response to a question about bereaved families? Yes, that was the answer to number six. But it was it was in re- it was re- in relation to. Um, Keir Starmer and what Miss, um, what Mr Johnson was saying in terms of the Prime Minister was saying in terms of uh, trying to uh, attack Keir Starmer for criticising government policy, saying that when he was more uh, when when Keir Starmer tried to work and be more constructive with the government, that was a better um, way of uh, behaving as leader of the opposition. Mm. It was more constructive. Uh, and that he should return to that brief. So well, then, he rather made... than meeting the bereaved families who were worried that their loved ones' deaths are going to be no, he didn't. S- he didn't say he was, he was going to do that. But the point is about the Kevin Klein briefs is that Keir Starmer has more briefs than Kevin Klein. No, I understood the joke. Oh, I was sorry. just clarifying whether or not he made it in response to a point about yes, dead, dead people.